hello everyone and welcome to funnel to tunnel.com and today we are into our sixth video of the example number three whereby the ship was supposed to load at Murmansk, Russia and the discharge port was Hansa port Hamburg Germany so let's quickly start and check specific gravity of the water in which we were supposed to load was mentioned as 1.020 now if you have not seen that video i would advise you to click the link in the description below and after watching that video you can come back here and check out this video then you will be having a better clarity of what we are trying to do so this is the final example which we are discussing today and if you remember we calculated as per our deadweight calculation that the cargo of 61,678 tons was to be loaded at Murmansk because the load port draft restriction was 12 meters. So it was a very simple example whereby the draft limitation existed at the port of loading that is Murmansk in this case. So we performed the deadweight calculation in that uh, video and uh, we came to a conclusion that uh, 61,000 1768 tons of cargo can be loaded today we will be using the loadicator in order to check whether we can load this cargo and secondly how to distribute this cargo in order to depart from Murmansk at an even kilo and then we will take the ship to our discharge port that is hand support and check whether we are complying with the criteria and the requirements uh, as per the voyage instructions so let us quickly go to the loadmaster program i have already mentioned today's date i have mentioned the name of the condition as example number three condition at murmansk first we always devise the condition at the limiting point in the voyage in this case luckily the limitation is at the load port itself if had it been the discharge port then we would have devised the condition at the discharge port first so in this case we are doing the load port first so let us uh, go to cargo hold i will just make everything zero and by the time i'm doing these all values as zero, i hope that you are enjoying my videos and uh, also you are making sure that you are learning the principles of loading and discharging so keep up the good work and uh, do like and subscribe our channel we are putting a lot of effort in order to bring the most practical content which is supposed to be used on board ship in order to ensure that you learn what you deserve to learn so i have made the cargo holes as zero we have taken vlsfo as 1518 and lsmgo as 250 tons so what i have done is i have made the vlsfo that is the fuel oil tanks i have taken the distribution from chief engineer and he has given to me the quantities what he can expect upon departure murmansk that is departure load port and the, also i have updated the diesel oil tanks with the quantity which we can expect upon departure same goes for the fresh water the ballast water is unpumpable which we are expecting is about 150 tons and uh, the slop is about 30 tons we have put all the variables in our loadicator program corresponding to the figures which we have used in the deadweight calculation vlsfo lsmgo freshwater unpumpable ballast and slop and sewage the constant is by default 343 of this ship light ship is already accounted for so now we have to put a cargo of 61,768 and check whether we can load this amount of cargo such that it doesn't exceed the draft of 12 meters at a density of 1.020 which I have already mentioned different load indicator programs might be working differently uh, not be same as what i'm using so you should be well accustomed and uh, trained in using your load indicator program i always advise that you should go through the manual in order to make sure that you have a clarity regarding the program what you're using and also the limitations of that program so let us move ahead and start filling up the quantities in the cargo hole so like i said i normally do the void column but today let us do the weight column let's say i put 10,000 here let's say i put 10,000 again here
So if you can see, we have accommodated almost 62,000 tons of cargo, but the cargo which we are supposed to put is 61,768. So let us calculate the balance, 62,000 minus 61,768 which gives you 232 tons of cargo. Now I will take this cargo from the middle hole. It gives me 6768. So I will just put 6768 here. Okay, so finally I got the quantity as 61,768 which is similar to the one which we calculated and we are getting forward as 11.65 and the aft as 12.3 while the corresponding draft or the hydrostatic draft is 12 meters that means the calculation which we did in our deadweight calculation is absolutely correct in order to ensure that we finish up on the even keel let us shift some cargo from aft to forward let's make it 8300 let's make it 7800 okay and I will increase the quantity in forward so you've got a little down by head that is 15 centimeters I will reduce some cargo let's say so we have to reduce certain amount of cargo let's say we take it out from number four 500 tons so it is 61468 and we have to increase slightly let's say so all right we have quantity distribution in all the cargo holes such that the total becomes 61,768 and if you can see on your right the draft forward and aft becomes equal to 12 meters so we are on even keel with this kind of a storage of cargo if you check the displacement it is 76,837 which is corresponding to your calculation which you did using pen and paper the fuel oil tank diesel oil tank fresh water barrels water tank others the constant and the dead weight correspondingly is equal to the ones which we already calculated in our deadweight calculation and so therefore we can carry this cargo of 61,768 tons as shown with this kind of a weight distribution finishing on even keel so this is a very important concept in this case if you just click the check button we can see that the current condition is acceptable that means that uh, we are doing absolutely fine the ship complies with the IMO stability criteria also if you see the longitudinal strength diagram you will see that the vessel is a little hog in between which is a good sign i don't believe in hogging the vessel too much especially with this kind of a cargo and obviously do not sack the ship because you will lose the cargo i always tell everyone not to stress the vessel too much in this case the stresses are in the ocean condition we are having 63 percent of sf and 33 percent of pm max values so it looks pretty good so this is what the pre-storage plan rather looks like uh, on the load indicator with you loading 61,768 tons of cargo and uh, not exceeding 12 meters of draft in a density of 1.020 so now like i said we have done the first stage that is a load port now take this same storage distribution to the discharge port and check out how does the ship behaves differently arrival displacement at hansa port we have already calculated in our example number three that the displacement is about 76 1731 and the only thing which can change is the consumables such as vlsfo the lsmgo and the fresh water also the slop sewage tanks have been uh, pumped out so which gives 
the quantity as nil unpumpable ballast and the constant remains same so let us go to our logical program and amend the quantities as stated here cargo hold distribution remains same i've named the condition as example number three condition at hand support which is a discharge port cargo hold remains same the fuel oil distribution has been changed as shown the fuel oil tank is having a vlsfo of 1438 which is shown here also the lsmgo is 204 tons which we have updated here the fresh water and drinking water becomes 200 as per the table and the ballast water remains same unpumpable which is 150 tons and also the others that is the slop sewage tank which is a grey water tank is zero in this case if you check the arrival draft is 11.95 and the aft is 11.92 the vessel is slightly down by head at a density of 1.025 but if you remember in our voyage instructions it was stated that the density which we are supposed to take into account is fresh water that is one so let us update this density and check how the ship behaves once arrived the forward draft is greater than compared to aft draft so how to correct this trim is to take it water in the aft peak tank in order to arrive even keel let's say we take about 200 tons of water in half peak tank and there you are all right so your draft arrival will be about 12 decimal 23 that is basis fresh water so this is your arrival draft we have corrected the trim by taking some water in half peak tank so that the vessel doesn't arrive at down by head which is not good for drafts a lot of draft surveyors might raise eyebrows on a vessel which is down by head but uh, in this case if you take a slight amount of ballast water in half peak tank you are correcting the trim so now you can see the vessel is even keel we can do a quick check the current condition is acceptable so it looks good checking the longitudinal strength we have got slight hog in between which looks perfect because you're loading a cargo of iron ore pellets which is a heavy density cargo it might tend to sag the vessel faster compared to cargo of coal or a cargo which is lighter in nature so in this case uh, this hog seems to be working for me the bending moment and the sharing force values are 61 percent and 31 percent respectively so these are within limits looks good so this stowage which we did on the load port holds good also at discharge port the only thing is that you have to take slight amount of water in half peak tank in order to arrive at even keel at discharge port so thank you so much for watching this video but here i want to discuss one thing very important which i will be doing in my next video as to how to write the pre-stowage plan it is a very important topic and it's not covered mostly in in any of the books i have come across chief officer or a cargo officer should um, or a officer responsible for cargo operation should always know how to write a pre-stow plan and this is what will be our next topic on this matter and it is prudent that we discuss this topic now rather than um, discussing it later because the topic is still under discussion so it will help you and i'm sure you will like it so thank you so much for watching again and see you next time bye take care